Mr. Gomeshi. Gian Gomeshi walked into court this morning knowing he would walk out a free man. The deal had been in the works for weeks. No admission of guilt, but an apology to the woman who alleges he sexually assaulted her. That woman is Catherine Burrell, who waived the publication ban on her identity today. Burrell was working for Gomeshi's radio show Q, when in 2008, she says, Gomeshi came up to her from behind and pressed his pelvis repeatedly into her buttocks. I want to apologize to Ms. Burrell for my behavior towards her in the workplace, Gomeshi said in court. I now recognize that I crossed boundaries inappropriately. A workplace should not have any sexualized tone. This incident was thoughtless, and I was insensitive to her perspective and how demeaning my conduct was towards her. The apology came after Gomeshi signed a peace bond, a legal promise to remain on good behavior and to stay away from Burrell for a year. It comes with no admission of guilt. In exchange, the Crown withdrew the criminal charge of sexual assault against him. The Crown told the court it also took into account a letter from a therapist Gomeshi has been seeing since November 2014. The letter outlines Mr. Gomeshi's progress toward acquiring insight into the attitudes which sourced his offensive behavior, Michael Callahan told the court. By apologizing for his actions, Mr. Gomeshi publicly accepts responsibility for them. Burrell says that public acknowledgement was critical. Gian Gomeshi is guilty of having done the things that I've outlined today. So when it was presented to me that the defense would be offering us an apology, I was prepared to forego the trial. It seemed like the clearest path to the truth. A trial would have maintained his lie, the lie that he was not guilty. Borrell went on to lash out at the CBC, for she says, turning a blind eye to her complaints. When I went to the CBC for help, what I received in return was a directive that yes, he could do this, and yes, it was my job to let him. The relentless message to me from my celebrity boss and the national institution we worked for were that his whims were more important than my humanity or my dignity. Borrell never filed a formal complaint against Gomeshi while at the CBC. A third-party investigation into the Gomeshi scandal concluded last spring. There was no evidence CBC managers were aware of information relating to sexual harassment or any complaints or allegations in that regard. But a spokesperson says the broadcaster takes responsibility for what happened. We should have been in a position where we could act on it, and we didn't. Um, like a human being, an organization has to um, recognize the mistake, acknowledge it, apologize for it, and then put in place what can be done to make uh, the situation better. And in, in this case, the situation is creating a, a uh, an a working environment that's healthy and respectful. I expect this was This lawyer says Gomeshi's admission he acted inappropriately leaves both him and the CBC vulnerable to a civil lawsuit by Burrell. It certainly leaves open liability on the part of CBC and Mr. Gomeshi for conduct because in a workplace you cannot subject an employee to that type of behavior. That is actionable. It's not clear at this point if a civil lawsuit is in the works. What is clear, Burrell says, Gomeshi's public apology, his admission that he did something wrong, delivered a form of justice today. Peter? All right, Joanna, thank you.